Hello and welcome to another episode of the Tejano Traveler. I am your host Wally, and today we're starting off the Texas Hill Country Trail, which is one of my favorite trails. It's full of hills and country stuff, and trees and springs and tubing and all that fun stuff. Plus, it has a lot of history. But we're starting off here at Old Baldy in Wimberley, formerly known as Prairie Mountain. As you can see, you can climb all the way up. It's supposed to be a hundred stairs, although for me it felt like a thousand. But I don't know, it was a tough climb for me. I had to stop several times. I doesn't look like it's that tall, but once you're halfway through, you're like, holy crap, why? But you got some nice views, as you can see. Start seeing the hill country, how green it is. How great it will be to just randomly road trip throughout its meandering highways and stuff. Also, it's fun to just challenge yourself sometimes, which is what I did. I'm like, I'm going to make it up this hill, even though it's tiny compared to Mount Everest. But if I can do this one, I can do Mount Everest, right? Right? Yay! Okay, maybe not. But I still felt successful. Still felt good about it, knowing that I can still climb tiny little hills. The cool thing about this, it's in the middle of Wimberley. It's just, it's just there. So, just like they said about Everest, why climbing? Because it's there. Now I'm on my way down. I have to be a lot more careful so that I don't start some inertia and roll all the way down. And it's nice to just stop by for a while and enjoy the view and see the hill country. My next stop was a commemorative Air Force, it's the Central Texas Wing, where I got to see some pretty cool airplanes. Now they have had an air show up in Fort Worth that weekend, so some of the planes were gone. But it's still nice looking at some of the other things that they had there. Those engines look really intricate. I couldn't imagine trying to figure out all the little components that go with it. But I like looking at old airplanes. And this one is my favorite. This huge green thing. The yellow rose. I know it's a little bit unsafe to look at, but look at that turret. I just want to be on one of those turrets and shoot down TIE fighters. But it's awesome. To look at the plane, I wish they would let you into the cockpit. They may, but I may be a bit too chubby to actually squeeze myself through it. And there I am trying to load myself in the bomb compartment. But it's my favorite plane in Texas, and I'm glad that it represents our great state. Attached to it is also a little museum that you can go to. This museum is a pretty cool place to learn a little bit of history about the planes and the U.S. Air Force and learn about some of the battles they've been through and everything. They have this cool little hat that I decided to try on just because I could. I felt in charge and that was good. This is the last airplane I took a look at on my way out. It's a pretty cool little visit. My next stop was Green, Texas. And Green, Texas is home to antiques. There's this big store filled with nothing but old things that people don't want anymore that other people may want. So is it like a garage sale or I don't know. But there's plenty of things to look at, plenty of little trinkets and if you're looking for something unique or a gift, this is definitely the place to go. There's plenty of cool little artifacts that one of your loved ones may want at one point in their lives. And this owl thing. I love that owl thing. I wish I wasn't buying random stuff still, but I'm not. I'm a minimalist now. Now there are other stores there. And don't worry, they all carry the same thing. 
They all carry the same salsas, the same um, peanut butters, the same jams, the same little trinkets and candies. So if you see one, you've seen them all. But still stop by and support your local little general stores. And next we went ahead, ahead and headed into Green Hall. People were just there drinking beer, enjoying life, having a good time. There was a band setting up for a future show, which I wasn't going to be around to hear some of it, but I'm pretty sure people love coming here and two-stepping and getting their bar action going on. If you're into that sort of thing, then Green is the place for you. I know it's spelled differently, but that's how they say it, Green, Texas. Yeah, Texas is weird. And then I headed away from the San Antonio area and hit Saint, the, the St. Dominic Ruins. It's an old church that has fallen into ruin and it's supposed to be haunted. But I never stick around to see just how haunted it is. I took a stop though, take a breath, stretch your feet, see some old buildings, be spooked a little, you know. That kind of stuff. Hey kitty. My next stop was at the Alsatian Steinbeck House in Castorville, Texas. It's an old house that was moved over from France. And it's apparently pretty authentic. And that's what the houses used to look like back in the time in that French area. Inside is a little museum with some furniture and historical artifacts of what life was like in the past. This almost reminds me of my ranch days, but not quite. But it's still fun to look at all the furniture and what they used and what they didn't use and how little everybody was. I mean, people were tiny back then. This hat barely fit me. And that's supposed to be the village where the house came from in France. So it's all really an interesting story and if you go there they'll tell you about the story and how the house got to be in Castorville. But anyways, that's the southern you know, Texas Hill Country for you. Hope you like and subscribe, ask questions, leave comments, and thanks for watching.